Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tell Your Story. I'm Todd Nesloni, elementary principal in Texas, and this is my podcast to be able to bring you awesome people that I either know in person, have met online, heard bits or pieces of their story, and allow them to tell some of their story to you. I am so thrilled this week to have my special guest, Jordan Thomas, on with me today. So Jordan, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about who you are? Hello all, my name is Jordan Thomas. I am 22, a fourth year college student attending Cal State San Bernardino. I'm a musician, a single songwriter and author. So you're, you're in your fourth year. What are you going to, what, are you, what degree are you trying to get? I'm going towards entrepreneurship. Ah, and what exactly are you looking to do with that? I aspire to build a cafe and bookstore, maybe somewhere on the East Coast. And, and where did that kind of idea come from? It mostly came from my love of reading. I've always been an avid reader growing up. I read a lot of books even now. Uh-huh. Um, I've developed a vast range of interests and subjects such as theology, uh, business, art, particularly creativity. So what's something really good that you've read recently? What I've read recently. Um, or what's one of your favorite books to recommend to people? Um, aside from scripture, a book I recommend is, it's called Dream to Grow Rich by Greg Walker. Mm hmm and when it says rich, it means rich in all aspects in family, um, wealth, financial, um, job-wise, um, mental, emotional. Everything comes into play. Nice. I haven't heard of that one. Dream to be rich? Is that what it's called? Dream to grow rich. Oh, dream to grow rich. Okay. Nice. So you, you mentioned you, you're, a mus you're a musician, too. What instruments do you play? I sing and play piano. Piano. Now... How was that growing up? Did, were you always interested in playing the piano and singing at some point, or was it something yeah. you grew into? As early as five years old, um, I remember, along with my twin, developing an interest in singing, particularly by pop music by Michael Jackson. Um, <laughs> it's stuck, it stuck with me ever since. And so when did the piano come into play? I was around eight at the time. I took lessons, but they ultimately didn't help. I ended up being self-taught. Really? So did you, do you just look at music and learn how to play? Did you watch YouTube videos? Like, what was your process? To this day, I still can't read music to a degree. Um, I pretty much learned by ear. Wow. And does I'm your... To, Go ahead. To, um, be given the gift of perfect pitch. Mm -hmm. Obviously. So does your twin play music as well? Yes, we both sing and he plays guitar. So have y'all ever done anything together or had any ideas to do run with that musically? Oh, we do. Um, we pretty much sing in church right now, but we um, sing all the time. So do you perform anywhere publicly? I mean, I know That's you might be church, but... For now, it's just school events. Mm -hmm. And um, do you write your own music as well? Yeah, it's been a while, but I'm getting more consistent at it than I've been in the past, finally. So what was, what was school like for you growing up? I was pretty sheltered growing up. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in Bakersfield. I attended Singlem Elementary from kindergarten through sixth grade. I'm in the middle of middle school. I moved down to Southern California. And to a degree, I'm still pretty quiet and introverted, but it's definitely helped in bringing me out of my shell right. a little bit more. Did you like school growing up? To a degree. I've always hated mathematics. I still <laughs> do. <laughs> but it's something I, I need to do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Can you think of any particular teacher that made a positive impact on you? Oh, definitely. As early as second grade, Mrs. Mullen. My fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Wood. Um, a few of my high school teachers, Mr. Fortier, Morville Hill, 
uh, smoked wing. What, what about them makes them memorable to you? I was able to foster relationships with them outside of the classroom, and they stuck with me. Yeah. So can you, what, what do you think is probably one of the biggest life lessons you've learned so far in your life? The biggest life lessons I've learned, especially as an artist, is to stay firm in whatever it is you're doing, to stand firm and not let be, not let the world around you try to taint what it is that you're doing mm -hmm. or compromise it. Right. I like that. So um, you're also active on social media. How did that come about? That began as early as 2015. After I graduated high school, I started developing more of a business mindset and entrepreneurial mindset. I didn't think I was going to publish a book, but that kind of helped it too. Uh -huh. um, I first joined Periscope, mm -hmm. and that allowed me to enter into more so a virtual environment when it comes to building and establishing friendships. Right. And it really helped out a lot too. As right. a, it's probably evident right now. Yeah, I mean, that, that's exactly where I found you was on social media, so. Do, it can be used for good and bad, but it depends. Definitely, definitely. So so what are your next steps in your whole entrepreneurial ideas? What, where, what, what is your next on your list of to-dos? I'm currently trying to get my speaking career started. Um, mm. to, to, to this day, I've only done one in my college campus. I spoke to an entrepreneurship class about the importance of creativity in the business world because that's something I truly believe is very valuable in that um, environment. So has, has, does that make you nervous at all to stand in front of people and present? It does. It's easier for me to sing than speak because yeah. I've done it for so long, so long. Right. And what style of music are you singing? Primarily gospel and jazz. Ah, okay. A little bit of doo-wop, too. Really? So is that the kind of music you grew up on or just an interest of yours? I grew up mostly on pop and R&B. Mm -hmm. Not so much anymore. It's a little monotonous from what I've seen. Right. It gives me a chance to be eclectic and branch out as an artist. So what's something that you feel like you've learned about yourself as you've pursued this idea of entrepreneurship? I've learned... While it's important to have thick skin in this um, world of business, it's also important to keep your soul intact, mm -hmm. your authenticity um, together, because it matters. Right, right. So what piece of advice would you give to kids who feel like they have an idea or a business thing that they want to run with? What, where would you, what would you tell any kids? Um... I would definitely say know your limits, but also um, aim high, but um, discern along the way. Um, right. It's a very tough uh, avenue with a very tough business. Right. A very right. cutthroat paradigm, I would say, to just evaluate constantly, surround yourself with keeping in consideration who you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if there was one message that you wish more people understood, what would that be? I wish people would understand that um, that being sensitive is not a weakness. Mm -hmm. All my life I've been told that I'm too sensitive for a guy, which um, masculinity can be misconstrued a lot sometimes right. in our society. And I would say that empathy, it goes a long way. Um, mm -hmm. Understanding goes a long way. And those are traits that will carry you through the rest of your life. Even though the world may not think so, mm -hmm. they may go for the opposite. But um, empathy goes, um, it's a trait to have when you're in the world, but not of it. Right. I think that. I think that's a, a powerful statement to end on because I always love asking that question at the end just to see, but I love that idea 
uh, exactly what you just shared, not only of the empathy, but also of just understanding who you are and being okay with that and all that. So Jordan, I am so thrilled to have the opportunity to chat with you. And I just I want to thank you for sharing some of your story and some of your information with myself and my viewers. Um, and I, I just thank you so much. Thank you, Todd. And thank you to everyone who is listening or watching today for joining us for another episode of Tell Your Story. I hope that this inspires you to get out there and be brave enough to tell your story because every story matters.